Good evening, students and parents. Tonight, we're going to practice solving area and perimeter word problems, where we need to read carefully to find what information we have and what information we need. First, let's remember the formulas. Area is length times width. You will be given the formula on assessments. It's important to remember that for area, your answers are given in square units. Perimeter is 2 times the length and 2 times the width. Remember that for perimeter, answers are given in square units. If you don't have that somewhere where you can easily see it, you may want to copy it into your notes now. You will use it as you solve the problems for tonight's quiz, and it's always a good idea to have the formulas handy. For these type of problems, the really important part is reading careful to decide what you need to find. The Sheridans are building a dog pen for Shadow. They want the total area of the pen to be 72 feet. The length of the pen is 8 feet. What does the width of the pen need to be? Based on this problem, I see that we're building a dog pen and the total area is going to be 72 feet. The length of the dog pen is 8 feet. So I can picture my rectangle with an area of 72 square feet and a length of 8 feet. What I don't know is the width. Using my formula for area, area equals length times width, I know 8 times something has to equal my area of 72 feet. This is the equation that I will use to solve my problem. 8 times what is 72? And in this case, I know that 8 times 9 is 72, so the width is 9 feet. It's important to label our units. Width is just a measurement of length, so it's not square units, it's just units, in this case, feet. Let's try this one. Stephanie is baking a cake. She plans to border the cake with ribbon in alternating colors. The total perimeter of the pan is 44 inches. One side of the pan is 13 inches. What is the other side of the pan? In this one, I can picture my rectangle representing the pan with a perimeter of 44 inches. One side is 13 inches. I need to find the other side. To find perimeter, I use the formula 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. I know the perimeter is 44 inches and I know one side is 13. So 2 times 13 plus 2 times W. If I don't know how to do 2 times 13, I can just add 13 and 13 and find 26. So 44, the perimeter, is 26 plus 2 side times my missing side. I can subtract 26 from 44 to get my 2W and 14 minus 6 is 8, that gives me 18. That means that 2 times something has to equal 18. I know from my multiplication facts that 2 times 9 is 18, making the width of my pan 9 inches. Let's think of that one another way. Now, to solve this problem another way, I still think of the rectangle. And the rectangle has a perimeter of 44 inches. And I still think of my missing side as the side I know is 13 inches. And the side that I'm missing is what I need to find out. Now, we had worked on the strategy where we can think about walking around half of the pan 
is half of the perimeter. So that means if my perimeter is 44 inches and I find half of that, that's 22, half of my pan is 22 inches. Something plus 13 equals 22. And I do 22 minus 13 to find out what that something is. 12 minus 3 is 9 and 1 minus 1 is 0 making my missing side 9 units or inches in this case. What's really important with these problems is to read carefully. A lot of times they give you the area or the perimeter and the answer is in fact the other calculation of area or perimeter making it a two-step problem. Look at how I do this one. The barn has an area of 66 square feet. The length of the barn is 6 feet. If Jay needs to put trim board around the outside of the barn, how much board does he need to buy? So I'm going to picture my rectangle for the barn with an area of 66 square feet and a length of 6 feet. I don't know the width. The problem says to me if he's going to put a trim board around the outside of the barn. To put a board around the entire outside of the barn would be to find the perimeter. So the answer to this problem is the perimeter of the barn. To do the perimeter, I need to do 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Before I can do that, I need to find my width because it's a missing dimension. Area is length times width. My area is 66. My length is 6. So 6 times what is 66? I know from my multiplication facts that the... I'm sorry about that. I know from my multiplication facts that the width of this barn has to be 11 feet because 6 times 11 is 66. Knowing that, I can plug now my information into my perimeter formula. 2 times the length is 2 times 6, and 2 times the width is 2 times 11. 2 times 6 is 12, and 2 times 11 is 22. 12 plus 22 is 34, telling me that the perimeter is 34 feet. Remember, it's important to label the units so that you know what you're looking for. It's time for you to go online and take your check. Did you copy two examples from this video? Do you have your formulas handy? If not, go back in the video and get that information now. Complete the check problems as best you can. Remember, your teacher will only use this information to set up groups. It does not count towards your grade. We will practice these kind of problems tomorrow in class as we get closer to the unit assessment this Friday. Have a great night!